so we had our Ofsted um, a year ago, last March. Um, and obviously for us, we, we'd brought something new in. Um, maths, no problem. It was a new approach to teaching maths. We were in our infancy still using it. So we wondered what that was going to be like for us. But in actual fact, for us, it was one of the key elements that actually improved the judgment that we had in our school. So we went from a school, from being a good school, to an outstanding school. And the maths was one of those key features that actually pulled that judgment up. Um, we were fortunate in that our lead inspector was a math specialist. And I think he saw the value of what we were doing in our school. And I think he was so intrigued and so um, inspired by seeing the collaboration between the children, by seeing that level of engagement, and also really pushing that learning onto the children, really giving them that opportunity to manage their own learning, to explore the, t the space. So it, not so much what's the teacher doing, what are the children actually learning and what does that learning look like? For him, I think he felt that was really evidenced by the process that we were using. One of the things that Ofsted commented on was the impact of this style of teaching in our other subject areas. Particularly, it came up in some of our grammar lessons. Um, they felt that we were actually encouraging more collaborative learning, but we were also letting the children explore more for themselves within other lessons. It wasn't so much um, teacher-led, it was very much child exploration. The learning was really in the hands of the children. It was really making them think and that thinking was deeper. Right, in terms of prep preparing for Ofsted, I think you have to know your school. I mean, all those aspects of monitoring or that understanding of what's going on in your classrooms, that very much still needs to be in place. It's not a case of, here's the, here's the process, just go and deliver it. So for me as a subject leader, knowing that at some point we would have an Ofsted inspection, I was very clear about First of all, why had we chosen this method? What was it about this style of teaching that we thought was appropriate? Why did we bring it in? So it was preempting those questions, knowing what's going on in the classrooms. And I think the beauty of this style of teaching was I had been in everybody's classroom because I was coaching people in using this style of teaching. So actually, I knew the children. I knew where the teachers are at in terms of their delivery. So there were conversations I was able to have straight away with Ofsted. For us as well, it was being very clear about what will our journals look like, knowing ourselves, our policies were very clear about what, what we were going to expect to see within lessons, what we were going to expect to see as outcomes of lessons. So when Ofsted arrived, I was able to have that conversation before actually anybody was even in the classrooms. This is what maths looks like in our schools. This is where we're at on our journey, but actually, this is where we're hoping to be. But it's going to take us some time to get there. Um, and also, as well, I was really able to focus on this is what a maths lesson is going to look like. And it might not be the sort of maths lesson you've seen before, but actually, these are the elements, these are the principles underlying the maths lesson. This is what differentiation looks like in our school. This is what collaborative learning is looking like in our school. So just pulling out those core principles and almost guiding the inspector to, to see what you've already talked about. So it's laying that foundation, really, so that they knew what they would be experiencing within our school. I think Ofsted were most interested in focusing in the lesson on what the children were actually doing. There was a lot of listening. The inspectors moved around, sitting with groups of children, listening. Uh, one of the questions they were asking was, how do, you, how do you feel about this style of learning maths? Is it very different to what you've done previously? Is that helping you with your learning? They were very interested as well in talking with the children about their journals. So looking back through their journals, asking the children to tell them about what they were doing. Um, they also focused in on the resources. Do you always have these resources out? Are they the same resources? Is this something? Would this happen in every class? So they were making links with how far was this approach going across the school and how did it compare to their previous experience of maths at the end what do we all want as teachers fundamentally we want to do the very best for the children that we're teaching and we want those children to have a deep secure understanding of maths if you are secure why you've chosen this for your school 
then have that conversation with Ofsted when they come and they'll see that as well. And I think as well, make sure though that if you take on this process that you really have gone for that training, you really ground that in your research, built on it with training so that what they're seeing is actually a really good example of what's going on, what, what's there available for them.